I'm going to make a short overview of the Sonomia project. Our bodies contain millions and millions of cells with different functions depending on if they're in the brain or the lung or the skin. A major building block of cells are proteins. Proteins are encoded by genes in our genome, also known as our DNA. We have about 20,000 genes, but still they make up only 1% of the human genome. In addition to this, there are regulatory elements that determine in which tissue and at which time point a protein should be made. It's been really hard to understand what are the regulatory elements. To help with this, we are using our 240 mammals data set. This is called comparative genomics because we compare these genomes to see which position in the DNA has stayed the same for 100 million years in all these different species. We are using the data for three different topics. The first is to best understand adaptation, to understand why pandas eat bamboo, or why some species hibernate and some use echolocation. The second topic is conservation and biodiversity. To understand the species and how well it's surviving, it's important to have the genome sequence, but also be able to look for differences between different populations. The third topic is human disease. Humans have a lot of common diseases, such as schizophrenia, heart disease, and diabetes. When people look and compare the genome between healthy individuals and patients with schizophrenia, you will find some hundred or so regions that differ. Within each of these regions, there might be 50 or 100 different mutations, but only some of those involve human disease. So comparing these regions with our 240 mammals data set, we can pinpoint which mutations are most likely to cause disease. And by understanding the mutations, we can also understand the biology of disease, and we can then use this understanding to develop novel and better drugs. We now have a data set that's huge and is available to the world. And while we are analyzing it ourselves, we're also making it available for others with the hope that it will best preserve biodiversity and be used for human health. 